Yo, what's up, YouTube? Today we're doing a fucking build video. Uh, today we're doing a Zenistar build. So a friend of mine the other day sent me a video by Mr. Asian Invasions Plays called Zenistar is Back. I wanted to bring an old one back. I wanted to make Zenistar good again. And let me tell you, with the melee arcanes we have in this update, yes, you definitely can. There's a couple of pieces in the puzzle coming into today's setup. Nuke on any frame. Now, when I first saw this, I thought it looked really OP and really interesting. But then I tried doing it on Protea, and that did not go well. Give me fucking more than two seconds to get up. Fucking Panzer does fuck all. Dude, I can't even get the fucking animation off and, like, do the heavy swing. This build fucking sucks. Fucking hate Asian invasions, bro. I'm fucking gonna strangle that guy. This can be done on any frame. It does not need to be on Loki. So you You're have a damn liar, man. That's not true. I don't really want to hate on the guy too much uh, because he did help uh, me figure out how to acquire negative combo duration and that is very important for this build. You think if you got like crit chance crit damage on this thing it would like do something? Nah, I don't think so. I had the crazy idea to build crit on Zenistar. But after looking at the weapon's base stats... It feels fucking impossible. However, a single chatter would soon have me remember an ability that I completely forgot fucking existed. Calervo? I mean... What would that do? It gives true critical chance. Dude, should I make this, like, insanely, like, copium-ass build real quick? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah of course. <laughs> what am I gonna say? Alright, look. We're gonna fucking invigorate Kalervo's ability on Ivara and juice out her power strength. <laughs> because why not? Oh, I don't have the thing, so... Do that. Do that. Huh. You know, I feel like this is a little better. I don't than... know. That's not looking half bad. This ain't this ain't looking terrible. Hey, hold on. Let me reproc this. Yo, I should make a video. You should. <laughs> Yo! This goofy copium crit Zenistar build was about to get a whole lot better whenever I decided to test out the new melee influence arcane. towards me Oof. now when it hits it hits all right all right so going over the ivara build we really just want a bunch of duration and strength uh one to help with the drain on our invisibility uh two to help with the duration of our buff and three to help with the strength of both our first ability and our fourth ability um Empowered Quiver is required because Dash Wire grants allies 100% bonus critical damage, and you are almost always going to be on your fucking Dash Wire. Um, make sure you're invisible, and that'll go crazy. And then hold down 4 and teleport, and it'll activate that. Uh, I wanted to quickly go over the negative combo duration thing that I explained earlier in the video. So with the combo of this mod, 
melee guidance, you lose six seconds of melee combo duration. And now this should cause the Zenistar to go all the way down to negative one combo duration. Uh, meaning you should never technically lose combo count. Um, but if you have this pet on your mod, Tandem Bond, the companion melee hits will increase your combo by six. Now this is actually best on a Panzer uh, with Swipe. So these two together will help you build your combo very quickly. Thanks to Mr. Asian Invasions for that. And we are going to go and demonstrate that. We're going to unpause them, spawn them in. We're going to quickly go invisible. We're going to walk up to them and let our Panzer Volpa Phyla do his thing. If you look in the bottom right, we're already at 11x combo multiplier. <laughs> and you can see that when I use my heavy attack, it does not consume my heavy. I am still at 12x. Thanks to this little shithead right here. So, with that, we can mod for things like Weeping Moons and absolutely devastate every enemy at 12x multiplier. Okay, so going over the Zenistar build, you're obviously going to want melee influence. Uh, for the damage type, you're going to want to do gas and electric here. Uh, electric to proc influence gas is very good aoe and every time you kill them with gas it's going to proc even more gas clouds and all the enemies are basically just going to keep trying to run at you and continuously kill themselves trying to do so and this works really well for just sitting in a corner of the map or on a survival and just having enemies run at you for for hours it, it's perfect One thing that is very important to note is that Killing Blow does nothing for Zenistar. Although you are using purely heavy tax to kill everything, uh, Killing Blow does not affect the disc or its damage in any way at all. Um, one thing that does though is Primed Fury. Primed Fury and Fury affect the amount of pulses that the disc does per second, so using attack speed mods are almost essential. Uh, you kind of need prime pressure point or just a damage mod in general just because without it the damage on the weapon is very very low um i couldn't really find another good replacement for this honestly so right now we just have this obviously you need your faction damage mod reach to help get the bigger disc weeping wounds for more status at that 12x multiplier if you don't have a Riven, you can just use Focus Energy. Uh, mine's just Heavy Attack and Electricity because I want to get more electricity without having to use Shock and Touch. Uh, but if you don't have this, just use Focus Energy. That's fine. Uh, you do want to make sure the electricity and gas are close to each other uh, because if the gas is way too much, then you are not going to be proccing influence and you're not going to notice the effects of it. So do keep that in mind. And with that all said, that should be the whole build. What up, YouTube? I want to give you all a quick demonstration before I go. So I have the Corrupted mod on, so I just pulled up to Mott. So you're going to want to pull up here. You're going to want to get up in the faces of the enemies and let your Panzer build that combo. Let me melee so I can see what I'm at. 5x. 9x. And 12x. All right, now I'm gonna hold down four, do my teleport move in the top right. You can see I frocked Wrathful Advance, and then I'm gonna throw the disc right in the middle of the floor. And if I run back far enough, all the enemies are just gonna sprint into it and kill themselves. If you look at the map, uh, we're gonna control the spawns so that all the enemies are just gonna run straight at me. Enemies are not gonna see the disc or try to avoid it at all. They're just gonna run in a straight line towards you. So putting it in the doorway uh, kind of just forces all of them to walk into it and die. If an acolyte shows up, or if you run out of life support, just, you know, walk out, pick it up, you'll be fine. If you need to move rooms, or if there's not enough enemies, you can go and try and find a different room. Uh, but usually this spawn room right here, this is the best one. Or the other one I showed in the other clip, that one's another good one. 
Um, but if there's an acolyte, just make sure you have some corrosive weapon. You can literally use whatever you want. Uh, with this build, it, it gives you a lot of fucking freedom. But that's it. Have a good one.